Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about the changes in cardiovascular system during pregnancy. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Extensive anatomic, physiological and biochemical changes occur in mother during pregnancy. These changes are intended to prepare the mother to meet the demands of pregnancy, labor and puerperium. These changes are mostly brought about by the pregnancy hormones. These changes may be interpreted as disease if we are not aware of these changes. So it is important for us to know the normal physiological changes during pregnancy to differentiate it from pathological changes. Now coming to the changes in cardiovascular system. The changes in cardiovascular system can be divided into anatomical changes and physiological changes. Now let us see about the anatomical changes. The uterus enlarges, as a result, the diaphragm is pushed upward. Because of this, the heart is pushed upward and outward with slight rotation to left. As a result, the apex bead is shifted up and to the left. The apex bead is shifted to the fourth intercostal space, 2.5 cm lateral to the midclavicular line. Remember, the normal position of apex bead is the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line in the left side. The cardiac muscle hypertrophies, the chambers dilate and there is increase in heart size. This can result in systolic murmur or continuous hissing mammary murmur. There can be splitting of the first heart sound. This is because of the difference in closure timings of the mitral wall and the tricuspid wall. There can be a third heart sound. The ECG shows left axis deviation and ST depression. Doppler echocardiography shows increase in left ventricular in diastolic diameters. Remember, these changes should be borne in mind before diagnosing a heart disease during pregnancy. Now coming to the physiological changes in cardiovascular system. The peripheral resistance falls. This is due to the dilatation of peripheral vessels by progesterone. This causes increased distensibility of veins. The increased distensibility of veins along with the pressure by gravid uterus causes varicose veins of legs, vulva and the formation of hemorrhoids. Due to the decreased venous return and peripheral pooling, there can be edema of feet. Remember, this edema is physiological and it usually resolves by rest. Now this graph shows the hemodynamic changes in pregnancy. X-axis shows the weeks of gestation, Y-axis shows the percentage change. As you can see, the heart rate increases and the stroke volume increases. As a result, the cardiac output increases. Remember, cardiac output is heart rate into stroke volume. Due to hemodilution, the hemoglobin levels fall. As discussed earlier, the total peripheral vascular resistance falls. Remember, blood pressure is cardiac output into systemic vascular resistance. In supine position, the gravid uterus exerts pressure on the inferior vena cava. This causes decreased venous return and decreased cardiac output. Since BP is cardiac output into systemic vascular resistance and in supine position there is fall in cardiac output, the BP falls. This is called as supine hypotension. As discussed earlier, the systemic vascular resistance also falls due to the dilatation of vessels. This causes decrease in diastolic blood pressure and mean arterial pressure by about 10 millimeters of mercury. This is evident in the second trimester. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.